What up, yo? Okay, so here's the uh, info that I was promising. Uh, this video is going to be a bit of an extended video. You can see my notes here. What I'm going to be covering tonight is uh, these two books cross-referenced. The first one is uh, do, 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 do. Chinese Tartary, a brief account, and cross-referenced with this book, History of Frederick II, Emperor of the Romans, and the title goes on, but um, he was the uh, emperor at the time. So, really interesting. Here are my notes. Here's the last video I did, okay? So I'm gonna be going through these notes here. The first book, The Chinese Tartary, I read it, and uh, was printed in 1840 um, for the benefit of the king, blah, 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 whatever. You know how these books are. Now, what I found was actually when I went and looked at the... Uh, sorry, it's, there's actually like uh, flooding here in this area of the world. And it's been really crazy weather and I'm in my car. So, as usual, trying to get away from the kids for a minute and uh, give you this info. Here's the contents, but actually the Chinese part is mostly at the beginning. This, all the blue stuff, because this is what they know about China at the time. But this is what they know about Tartary. Only, uh, what, like 12, not even, seven, seven pages of information. So I'm going to go through it, but at the end, because it's not that much. They didn't know much at the time of this book. Yeah, these guys just didn't know anything. And so most of what they're saying is it can only be guessed and this and that. Okay, so I don't want guesses. I just want the info. Give us the info, right? Bombshells tonight. Look at this. Fascia. Proof of the fascia. Electric fascia. I'm calling you out there, British Earth, uh, flat earth British man. There's your proof. I'm going to get to that in about three minutes. Okay? So I'm just going to start and I'm just going to read what I have circled and at some points you'll just see dates circled just because you know how they are with their numerology. <clears throat> You're going to see a lot of crazy bombshell information coming out of this book. I'm not kidding. I don't say that lightly. Uh, proof of the fascia, proof of uh, all kinds of stuff, craziness. Ready? Here I go. Peace be with you all. Hope you're all in uh, good health. Hope this finds you well. Uh, crazy flooding, just like I predicted. Okay, Attila the Hun of Tartary arrived. Germany, Italy, France, essentially. I'm just gonna go quickly through it because uh, you know you can go back and read all this and give you the Coles notes. Uh, just a quick summary for you. Uh, Russia soon felt the rampage of this prince when he gathered all the people, all, all his troops from the whole uh, country. The Tartars were well informed with their spies and uh, let each sovereign furnish his contingent of soldiers against the reckless invaders who were already looking upon themselves as masters of the world. Germany, France, England, Italy, Denmark, uh, Greece. But the way they describe these places, Germany, frantic and burning for war, France, the mother and nurse of gallant soldiery. <laughs> England, rich. Denmark, famed for shipping. Italy, untamed. Okay, so even with Rome, untamed, huh? Greek, uh, unconquered, okay? So, I'm just, you're gonna get the full picture once I start reading this, okay? So, here we go. Under the banner of the cross, the red and white cross, uh, which strikes awe into rebels, um, a crusade against the Tartars. So the crusade was against the Tartarian civilization. Okay, bishops took it upon themselves uh, to excommunicate men. Blah blah blah. An indulgence of forty days was granted to all those who come forward and uh, preach for the uh, crusade. So they're given forty days pay to anyone who come forward and help them out. Right. 
no beer was to be brewed, <laughs> but the, all the corn was supposed to be saved. Not even the animals fed, I guess. I don't know. But uh, they, Ryan, every time I come to an important city or something, I'll just circle it. That's what that's about. Ravaged, hungry, Bohemia, Australia, Austria, Austria. Uh, only followed later by the so-and-sos. Um, so all these people down at the bottom here, it says the Venetian crossbows to prevent the savages from crossing the Danube. Okay, so the Tartars suddenly besieged the town in Austria. Frederick was uh, a secret ally of the Mongols. The land into a wilderness and to please the Pope Mar He handed over the treasures of his church to robbers. Okay. Uh, just remember that part. I guess. The crusade against the Tartars. Other bishops less scrupulous pocketed similar contributions. Uh, sometimes I go a little bit overboard with them. I did this all these notes last night mostly. Rome arose powerful as ever thanks to German disunion. Had Tartar delayed their inroad for a few years, they might perhaps have been more successful as although they left Germany almost unscathed, they were indirectly the means of ruining the Christian power in Palestine. The Pope strengthened the hands of the imperial deputies and ordered the Templars. Most of them arrived in autumn two, uh, in 1239 and soon heard of the guy who destroyed, who overthrew, who had overthrown the Tower of David. Christians were split into two parties, Cairo's and Egypt uh, seduced by Templars and they took their oxen, camel and horses. Uh, now, this is gonna make more and more sense as I go on. Christians put at the last uh, d -d 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 exhausted uh, 13th of November, the Muslims being on Pursued, made triumph of entry into Cairo with their booty of prisoner and prisoners, and were loaded with insults as they passed the streets, and were and were afterwards employed in building palaces and colleges in the banks of the Nile. The Templars prevailed on their favorite ally, the Sultan of Damascus, to restore Jerusalem. The French chiefs, on the other hand, the state of the Holy Land had been most gloomy, most especially since the papal thunderbolt had been launched against Frederick. All kinds of jarring in, uh, interests battled at Acre, the crown of Cyprus, against the crown of Jerusalem, the temple against the hospital, the Genoese against the Pisians. A fresh element of disorder now made itself felt. So disorder, think about this, what he's saying. If they were already uh, being torn apart, re I'm going to just kind of read this again. Since the papal thunderbolt had been launched against Frederick, the holy state the state of the Holy Land had been most gloomy, like what we're experiencing now with all the uh, terrible rain, you know, uh, and people going into disarray, uh, jarring interest battle. Okay, Thunderbolt had been launched against Frederick. All kinds of jarring interests battled there. A fresh element of disorder now made itself felt. He ordered to fight and stay for Christ. Okay? No. You follow 
what I said in my other video about remember about my <laughs> ancestors 12 uh, 12.99 or whatever it was 13.99 only a few years later they moreover blockaded the hospitals at Acre and they drove the Knights out of that city the Germans fled to their Kaiser and complained of the insolence of the Templars and started rumors The Amici, get this, okay? You want to hear when we were saying evidence of the electric fascia, here's also more, and evidence of free energy, uh, DC power grid. The city was illuminated. It was illuminated, eh? And the whole of its population came forth to welcome the Italian ambassador, the Amici. The whole city was illuminated at their expense. Templars, a policy of the Templars, as opposed, uh, as opposed to that of the Emperor, now reigned as triumphant. Then the possession, not only of the Holy Sepulchre, I forget how to pronounce that, but I did look it up. Here it is. Now, this goes right in with uh, Flout Earth British man. His good. This is this is for you again about when they were taking down all the antiquitech okay they had all the ladders up against the wall at the top immovable ladder on the church of the holy Sep sepulcher a miracle that seems to produce more holy fistfights than holy re uh, revelations so someone put a ladder up there to take something down and they dare not remove it let me just skip to the end where it explains it. Finally, you always have to skip right to the end because they're stupid. They don't actually tell you the story until they put in their two cents. The famous immovable ladder is a bizarre outcome of this religious stubbornness pushed to extremes. Sometime in the first half century, the 19th century, right, someone has placed the ladder up against the wall of the church. No one is sure why. Uh, or who did it. The ladder remains there to this day. No one dares touch it lest they disturb the status quo and protect and uh, provoke the wrath of the rulers. Uh, the exact date the ladder was not known, although it says 1852, right? Right after you know what. So, da 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 da. Now, where was I? Yeah. So there. In possession of the holy sepulchre but uh, apparently the tomb of the Christ was destroyed anyway and was sent to Medina it was defiled by men who killed all kinds of people in there okay so that's why they sent it there all right uh, although uh, do, 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 the Grand Master of the Templars wrote in jubilant strains to his brethren in England, boasting that the Christians were now enjoying privileges, which had not, which had been lost to them for six and fifty years. This was due to the Templars, to the prelates, and a few of the local barons. They seized Gaza, the key to Egypt. But this guy, Najadinan, the Sultan of Cairo, under the Sultan inspired Genghis, uh, Zingis Khan himself with respect. Far from its uh, home, Christians remarked, Tartars had dragged forth the snakes from their holes. Now these Karzamans were everywhere. The men from Sultan's Karazan. At his call, 1244, they crossed the Euphrates to the number of 10,000 horsemen under four cons, bringing their wives and children along with them. They burned, massacred, and pillag uh, pillaged in Syria until the Sultan of Damascus uh, was uh, uh, fain to, uh, to recall his troops from Gaza. They marched down to the uh, Holy Land, Protestant, right? Okay, Christians in terror. Everyone was running in terror, but they said uh, that that actually they were defeated so everyone started to return to the city
okay, I think maybe they get to that later, but Templar's uh, strange alliance with Templars formed. He saw Christians, priests, bestowing their blessings upon Muslim. Now listen, I'm not just, uh, these are just, I'm just reading this, how they wrote it in 1840. Okay, so I, like, uh, I have, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to incite anything. I'm just, they said Muslim here. So that I'm just end up pronouncing it how they do, right? Uh, bestowing their blessings upon Muslim and giving them wine from their chalices on the 4th of October. And they all marched together. Count of Jaffa, 40 years earlier. Armed with a piece of the true cross, the Templars and the barons of the Palestine formed the center. Uh, the noble knights, crossbow, uh, crossbowmen, and infantry alike were involved in the hideous butchery. The Bishop of St. George and the Lord's Knife were slain. Only 33 Templars escaped, and three of the Teutonic Orders fled away from the Patriot. Patriot uh, Patriarch of the Jeruz of Jerusalem. Okay, so 33 of them arrived, just like they say. The illumination of Cairo in honor of the victory lasted for several days. The prisoner, 800 of them in number, Christian and Muslim, uh, uh, I'm just not used to saying it that, uh, were brought in on camels. Thus died Walter so and so. Okay, he was the uh, cousin of the rightful king of Jerusalem. So, thus the whole of these complicated political changes ended in this guy Najaminaman, whose alliance to the emperor had courted becoming master of Egypt. That's how Israel was granted to the Jews, actually. Um, so it says here more, uh, now we again renew our offers in spite of threatening storm of the Tartars and the perils of the empire at Constantinople. When Italy is at peace, our wings will recover their strength. Okay. Early in 1250, the whole of the French army became prisoner of the new Sultan of Cairo. This guy, Najin Medina. Sorry, I'm so ignorant of all these people, but who has time to look everyone up, right? So I have to just skip over, skip over. Um, when the emperor left Acre, Acre um, everything went to ruin. The one strong hand was uh, wanting, which had held all together, had saved the crusaders in spite of themselves. After 1229, the Templars had their own way, yet for 60 years longer, the handful of Christians held their precarious ground, clinging to the desperate grab, grasp to the strip of land they occupied through expecting every moment to be pushed into the sea by overpowering strength of the Muslim. The Holy See had overthrown the Hufen Sovens. It was soon to become an, an accomplice in the doom of their worst enemy. The Knights of the Temple. All right, so that was kind of a synopsis of this book here, History of Frederick II. Now, I'm not sure if I really hit those points hard. Uh, I said the proof of the fascia there. It seems that there is proof of the electric fascia. The Holy Land had been most gloomy, especially since the papal thunderbolt had been launched against Frederick. All kinds of jarring interests jarring interests battled at Acre at the time the crown of Cyprus against the crown of Jerusalem the temple against the hospital the Genose against the Pisian a fresh element of disorder now made itself felt okay so this caused the Christians to pause right So I'm just trying to skip through this as quickly as possible, and, and but also get to the main points here maybe that I missed. 
but uh, it looks to be like you know this this was uh, what I'll do at this point is just jump right into this Chinese Tartarian thing okay so from here it says okay in 1664 like these are these are later date uh, history lesson stuff so Chinese Tartarian here's what they say about it the, they talk about cinnamon how they didn't have any uh, utter want of fuel in most provinces right so they were burning cinnamon cinnamon utter want of fuel in those places stones resembling basalt which when struck give a sound and have therefore been used since the most ancient times in music there are various colors found in many places but they have nevertheless very rare highly valued by the Chinese various other stones in which it's difficult to classify with excellent granite and quartz make up the list of mineral productions we all know that's done in Tartaria all the granite quartz was from Tartaria in the north the mineral waters so extensive from this country of Tartaria probably numerous that none of these particular celebrities seem to be uh, seen to notice by travelers Japan copper is imported from Japan even though you can get it there uh, and also or the uh, do, 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 this check this out Tutanagwe is an alloy of copper iron and zinc of great whiteness composition of Chinese invention which was formally exported now here this is part of our alchemical learning right with uh, just like every video I go into eventually we touch on this and I say at that point oops there it is right so this is part of our learning and the long-term learning for the ancient wisdom moment here it is spelled out for you in beautiful terms the Tatanague Nagwe great white composition of Chinese invention which was formerly exported in great quantities to India and even to Europe which now almost fallen into disuse otherwise asserts that it's found in a natural state mercury is very common but how much so over is found the oxidated oxidation of vermilion princi uh, principally for export is so great as to require large importations from abroad uh, species of copper particular to China found in copper mines which have been relinquished it is used for medical purposes but little known to Europeans kills bugs on spot dead just like they said in the commercial you're soaking in it I'm old I remember I'm calling myself out I'm so old okay I remember all these stupid commercials oh that's why I do it because it's funny I'm a generation Xer. now Chinese appear to have some idea of telegraphic dispatch by building small pyramids hollow inside in which fire may be lighted which blazes out at top these fire pyramids are so built that they correspond with one another in a line so that if rebellion has broken out in any place the news can be quickly transmitted to headquarters though seldom used they are nevertheless kept throughout the country in a state of repair that's like the what's that for movie right you know the one I don't know Lord of the Rings right Lord of the Rings movie it's just like that they laid one on the mountaintop where do you think they got it all that shit it's from Tartaria alright the Mongols and Tartars were the only enemies of China Chinese known in this area to buy and sell women okay let's see if I have it right here what happened was came the raid uh, uh, case in the case of the Tartar conquest so famous in now I'm talking hundreds of years later 16 for whatever it was right remember 1249 1244 whatever now 16 whatever this is 1640 
Evidently, the Tartar conquest, so famous in history, started from Mongolia where they gathered all the troops in the volcano moment. Remember I showed you? I'm right back here. Wasn't actually the Tartarians. Wasn't actually the uh, Mongolians that uh, overthrew all of Europe and everything. They just gathered in Mongolia. It's like, <clears throat> it's like if I were going to uh, New York by Toronto, they would say, where are you coming from? I'm saying, Toronto, where do you live? Where are you from? Ottawa. You hear me? So yeah, they're coming from the gathering place, just like Ottawa's the gathering place here. Believe it or not, it is. For half of the world. At this point, maybe a tenth of the world. You'll understand what I'm, where I'm coming from with this, like, because I'm Aboriginal. So this is the gathering place. Now, Tartars in the early century, from the central, they achieved their conquest by marching four years and waiting two years at the gates of Russia. That's how they did it. Hordes of, hordes of these guys. And they were so brutal. They were unable to rid herself for two centuries. Moscow and Kells were burnt to the ground. Poland was next exiled, uh, next assailed, and had to mourn the ruin of Krakow and Lublin. Cilicia then lay open to the inroad of the Mongol, Mongols who crossed the Oder and burnt Breslau. Then they were caught up with the Christian army for a little bit in 1241. And they were stopped at the Rhine, but then apparently they just kept going. I think their Germany was burned after that. So they lost there. Crusade against the Tartarians. So when they talk about the Crusades, it was against them, the Tartarians coming. They, and that's why they wiped their name out of the history books, is because they beat them. The Crusades beat, the, the, the Templars beat them. Just like I told you in the last video, at the very end, remember? <clears throat> it's, not a, it's not a secret. The Tartars suddenly besieged, okay, I already, I already covered all this, right? So, Here's what they knew at 1840, which is not very much, which is, uh, yeah, just 150, what, 170 years ago, whatever it is. Uh, that's not very long ago. They knew nothing about the Tartar, tar Chinese Tartaria, as it were, which is apparently kind of its own state empire or otherwise country, whatever you want to call it. Okay, prepared. Those people in Calcutta knew nothing about them. They absolutely were guessing because I read every single thing they knew about it. And it's like, we don't actually know much about any of these things, though. We're uh, obliged to talk about them. You figure it? Okay, you understand me now? So, looking at all these notes, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the man that the, the, the extreme history remake, right? The makeover, the extreme. Go look at it if you like. These are the Coles notes. I'm kind of giving you the synopsis, but I'm also telling you. Because they won, they rewrote history, but yeah, here's another take on it. And uh, all I did was search out Tartaria Fibonacci. Because I mispronounced, I think I, I was so tired in the last video, I said Fibricci spiral or something so I went and looked it up and it was Fibonacci and sure enough his story is pretty flimsy and uh, suspect that's when I was started I just add Tartari to his name and sure enough here's where it came up and that's where I started right so that's my video guys um, I think that's a lot of bombshells I, I don't know I don't know if like other people have like covered this book or if there wasn't any other, uh, you know, no one else had left any comments about the book when I looked it up and I, you know, just gave it a quick read. It's not actually that long, 200, 300 pages, but I was like skipping through it too quickly. And so I'm sure there's lots in there that I missed that may be pertinent to your life, but I don't know. But uh, 
uh, for you know, religious rights. So, so they're kind of they're t you know like because it was the Christians losing against anyone, they just it's called them the Satan at work. So right, and because of that, the Tartarians became the barbarians, and the you know is the class of the barbarians. Sir. What do we got here? I don't know how many minutes we're into here, but you know, so our video is coming to an end. Everyone, thank you for your time and thank you for your ongoing support and comments and everything. Uh, again, because of my situation, I actually don't have a lot of time to do the comment section. I really appreciate that when I. I stumble upon it and I read your comments is awesome you people are great so thank you uh, I think if you just uh, you know look into these two books like here's a so the Ming Dynasty was essentially the Tartars I think I don't know I haven't I, like because there's so little of it, it's just you know it's hard to believe almost anything but they definitely said that in uh, Chinese Tartary, there was no men to be found anywhere. Or, sorry, no women to be found anywhere. That they were selling women. That if you, were, if you had a, a girl as a baby, a baby girl, your wife, it was like a blight on your family. People would start weeping and crying. And you'd sell your kid. And you wouldn't believe the stories in here. Chinese Tartary. About... Uh, you know, here it is in 1664. Chinese have quietly submitted to the, the Tartarian scepter, the Tartar dynasty, the fourth of the Tartar dynasty. Okay, the more you go through this, this is just cherry picking their info, but I'm telling you, that's exactly what happened. So they surrendered to the Tartarians, too. And by this time, they're already in Korea, they're already in Japan, they're already in all these other places. So, um, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you people are well and you can get and check this out. Google Books, <clears throat> Chinese Empire and Chinese Tartary. And the other one was, uh, here's the reason why I don't leave the links to these books. Just because you can see how I looked it up. Fibro Nietzsche. And you can see books on it. I think. Is it right here at the end? Uh, you know, it's Edward the uh, Third, I think, or whatever it was. History of Frederick the Second. Okay. So, a couple of bombshells, I think. It's like really, uh, you know, pretty much just beating around the bush about the electric fascia thing. Okay. Y'all have a good night now. Um, I pray none of you are caught in the uh, floods. All right. Just like I predicted a month ago, all the dams are going to give way and uh, we're going to see mass chaos because of the new age floods. Bye.